see that error there. Solar sensor open. I'll show you how to fix that real quick, how to diagnose it. Here's your solar sensor right here. So what we want to do is just do a quick visual check. You can see some work was done up here recently. Um, we're going to follow this wire back to the unit until we see that there are or no breaks. Now here we see where there's some connections. And this is where our break is right here. So it's real simple. We're just going to cut these wires back and replace the wire. Now just in case you uh, don't know, most people uh, that deal with any kind of electrical are going to know this, but uh, uh, higher or low, low voltage, doesn't matter. This is a very literal definition of what it means when a circuit is open. So you can see, if these two were connected, the circuit loop would be closed. Since they're not connected, it's open. So what we're going to do, Cut the ends off of this. I should have made sure I had enough length. But I got enough at the top, so I'll just pull it down a little. And then we're going to uh, splice it back together. So you can see the installer originally used a four wire, um, a four wire run. Now these can, these uh, solar sensors only need two wires. Now this is the actual solar sensor here. It's a two wire system. Now we use these. Uh, I I call these uh, call these telecom connectors. I don't know if that's what they're called, but that's how I've always ordered them, and that's how I connect them. Um, these work really great. These are actually uh, filled with silicone. So it uh, helps with the waterproofing of that connection, keeps it nice and clean. You do need a special tool if you want to put it on correctly. You can try using it with a uh, needle nose pliers or something, but it messes up this little this little button here. So what you do is you put the wire you put the wire in the in these holes here. Not sure if you guys can see that, and then you depress that the red button. So check that out here you can see all you got to do you don't have to strip the wire back just slide it all the way in as far as it'll go if the wire is kinked you gotta straighten it just there there you go all the way in hopefully you can see that and then you just uh, take your tool and you get it, you fit the button within that ridge. You see it doesn't close all the way. That way you don't crush the, the button there. Usually get it from both sides. Alright, so we can see some focus there. So that's the that's how it looks when it's all finished. So you can see the connectors on the inside. They cut through the insulation on the wire. See that there? So both of those are depressed all the way. And you can see these are set these connectors are actually for three wires. Um, they can be used with two wires though. Um, that's just what I happen to have with me and my truck. Um, it is better to use two wires on these, or a two wire connector for two wires, uh, just for uh, waterproofing. But these will be fine. So let's go down and check and see if it worked. It sounds like the pump is running on high. 
All right. So there we go. System status is green. That means it's good. We're getting the uh, solar temperature there at 103. So we're good to go. Hey, let me cut in right here. If you like this kind of DIY swimming pool content, please like this video, subscribe it, share it with your friends, post it up on, uh, on the different uh, platforms of uh, pool forums, pool owner forums, as well as uh, um, any uh, pool professional forums. It helps get the content out there and uh, helps with the, uh, the old algorithm and such. So uh, any uh, promotion, we certainly appreciate it. And if there's something you wanna see in particular, something you have a question about, hit us in the, in the uh, comments below and we'll try to get a video going about that. All right, back to the video.